Hi everyone, I'm Yang Yang. Welcome to Tea House, China Radio International's online video talk show. We hope to provide you a platform for communication for a better world, and we also hope you enjoy the ideas shared on Tea House. With the development of technology, the way we receive information is constantly changing. Online video is a communication medium that has slowly altered our lifestyles. Today, we're having a cup of tea with a special guest who will share his understanding of online video industry in China here in Beijing. My name is Daniel Thunberg. I'm the Senior Vice President of Sales and Marketing at Keep Digital. And uh, on today's edition of the Tea House, we're going to talk about online video in China. And uh, I'm going to have a discussion with uh, Yang Yang about that subject, and I hope you're going to enjoy the show. Do you want to know more about him? Please take a look at this short video. As KIT Digital's Senior Vice President of Sales and Marketing in the Asia-Pacific region, Daniel Thunberg is responsible for overseeing all sales and marketing activities across the region. Prior to joining KIT Digital, Daniel worked for Irdeto for 12 years, holding a wide range of global and regional roles in sales and marketing, with a world-class client portfolio including SoftBank, Samsung, SK Telecom, China Mobile and Huawei, among others. Originally from Sweden, Daniel has lived and worked overseas since 1977 in Canada, the Netherlands and South Korea. In 2006, he relocated with Irdeto to Beijing, China. Daniel received his BA in Political Science and Sociology from Linkoping University and his MA in International Relations from the University of Amsterdam. Hey Daniel, welcome to Tea House. Thank you. You know that in China, when we have tea, we have snacks. And I know that you are from Europe. And uh, when European have tea or coffee, they have a special kind of food to go with that. And what is that? Since I'm Swedish, I uh, thought I'd bring you some uh, Swedish meatballs. Oh, it's a gift for Tea House, right? Yes, Thank it you. is. So what I did was, um, you know, normally you should eat meatballs warm. And um, my wife said that Chinese people probably not like uh, cold meatballs. But, I, you know, in Sweden we eat, do eat cold meatballs on sandwiches. So I thought I will introduce two different versions to you. And uh, this one is a uh, kind of classic with hard bread and then you have a red beet salad and then meatballs on top. And the uh, second version is uh, just a piece of white bread with a, uh, a curry and pickle mayonnaise and meatballs on top. So oh. I hope you're going to enjoy those later. Oh, that must be very delicious. Thank you very much for the special gift to Tea House. You're most welcome. Let's talk more about you. We know that uh, you have been in China for about five years. What led you to China? It was uh, an opportunity to work in China. So uh, I had previously worked in, in South Korea and uh, I didn't really want to go back to Europe. So uh, there was an opportunity for me to work in our Beijing office. And uh, I was, was very excited to do so. There was a tremendous opportunity in the Chinese market. It's growing extremely fast and we had a lot of change in consumer adoption particularly in the digital area where you know i've been active for the last 12 years so um, for me it was
today, I think these companies have created a platform. There's more and more content available, and uh, I think, in particular, Yuku and uh, Tundu are different from the rest of the world in the sense that they actually started to produce their own TV dramas. And you can actually say that some of these online platforms today have similar business models and, and similar ideas as a uh, cable TV operator in China. Here it's more clear that the online platform is actually trying to compete with the broadcasters and offer natural that you can access video in your car, on the train or whenever you're traveling or whatever you're doing. So we're still only at the early stages but in the next 10 years we're going to see a lot more change happening. As we all know that Kid Digital is a premium provider of video management services and software. Are there any counterparts here in China that do the same thing with Kid Digital? There are Chinese companies uh, definitely that are doing uh, similar things that uh, Kid does, but uh, not necessarily on the same scale. I think Kid is a company that does a lot of things if you look at the whole value chain and uh, all the things you need to do when you're thinking about deploying an online video service. So for example, it's not only about the software and the platform that we, we provide, but we also provide strategic consulting, understanding the market, setting up the right business models, understand what the best technical solution is for your particular environment and depending on what the customers that you want to address. And we have some very unique uh, uh, skills and experience in this area. And the other thing which other companies tend not to do is the whole user experience. The user experience is extremely important and because that's what the consumer is going to use. And if they don't find it easy to use, they're not going to use it. So uh, this requires a lot of research and expertise. And uh, we have many, many years of uh, experience in developing user interfaces for some of the world's biggest brands in, uh, in media and entertainment and uh, in China of course 
things have to look a little bit different because you have the Chinese characters you navigate in a different way and so forth. But um, these are all things that uh, we have taken into consideration in our localization strategy. And uh, you know, we just know that we have to work according to the Chinese mind instead of a Western mind. So uh, we have a fairly comprehensive offering that really goes end to end. And uh, that really is our strength. What is on the one end and what is on the other end? Of course, you have on one end, you have the, uh, the, the content being produced. So that's, uh, if you can, you can say like one lens, it's the lens of the camera. On the other end, you have the consumer's eye, which is the, uh, the other lens. And uh, we do basically everything that happens to the content in between those two lenses to, to uh, find a way to the consumer. How did you connect the content with the audience? and to improve the user's experience. There's various ways that we do that. I mean, one obvious way is like how you present the content uh, when you try to find it, whether that's on your laptop, whether that's on your connected TV, whether it's on your smartphone, or, or what have you. Every those items have different size of the screen, and the way you navigate on those screens are different. So typically on a tablet, you use your finger and you will drag and drop things mm -hmm. on your smartphone. Some phones you will use your finger, some, some phones you would use a kind of a, a scroll uh, ball or a navigator. And then on your PC, you typically your screen is bigger and then you have a mouse that you can you know, navigate and so forth. So you always have to look at how the consumer is actually going to use the navigation and what tools you have available to do that to make it easy for them to navigate. The other thing is uh, basically there's so much content available today and it, it can be really difficult to find exactly what you're looking for. So uh, recommendations are very important for consumers in an online world. Then you have the natural problem when somebody says that something is good. And you don't necessarily know if you think it's going to be good because you don't know that person who actually said it was good. With content, everybody have different tastes. Some people like love stories, some people like uh, crime stories, whatever, you know. So it's all about your taste. So one thing which is really beginning to take off now is what's called social TV. So that means that basically when you watch video, let's say, uh, on a particular platform, uh, you would have the opportunity to share that with your friends in your online community. You can build communities around your platform where people interact with each other, they give recommendations to each other. Search and discovery is a really, really good <laughs>